Uh, my talk, uh, I will consider Henkel operators on Bergman spaces on given domain omega of the complex plane. I focus my attention uh, on the unit disk and uh, some of the results I will present uh, here remain valid in several variable case. So, uh, so uh, first of all, I will uh, introduce uh, some necessary notations and uh, to recall some uh, classical and important uh, results in the subject. Uh, here, the space uh, A2 uh, alpha is the standard Bergman spaces. Uh, and the classical Bergman space uh, corresponds to alpha equals zero. So, uh, uh, yes, the, here D alpha, uh, the notation D alpha is the, this measure, which is an, for alpha equals zero is the, the normalized Lebesgue measure. Uh, recall that uh, A2 alpha is a reproduction kernel Hilbert space, uh, and the kernel is given by this, uh, uh, this, uh, this expression. So the notation uh, P alpha is, uh, as usual, the, the, the orthogonal projection from A2 alpha onto A2 alpha. Uh, and it is given by uh, formula explicitly by the formula. We can see that uh, this uh, formula can be extended for uh, functions f in L1. Uh, so the for phi in uh, the Bergman space A to alpha, the linear transformation H phi bar uh, equals M phi bar minus P alpha M phi bar. For the first uh, part is uh, the is the, the multiplication by uh, phi bar, and uh, the second part is a top list of operator associated with uh, the with the the symbol phi bar. I will discuss top list operators in some slides. Uh, next. So this operator is uh, densely defined and uh, it is called the Henkel, the big Henkel operator with symbol phi bar. All Henkel operator I will consider here is uh, are uh, associated with uh, uh, anti-analytic symbols. The integral formula of H phi bar is uh, given by uh, like this. Uh, or it is uh, easy to see that uh, H phi bar Fz equal phi, phi bar z, uh, multiplication by fz, which can be written as loss. And the second part is a function in A2 alpha, and uh, it is a projection. It, it is a, it's a function in uh, L2. And uh, uh, of course, if, for example, if f is uh, bounded, and the question uh, is, for which uh, for which symbols the function is uh, is uh, the, the operator is bound the first uh, i think the first result on bounded on boundedness uh, of Hankel operator is due to Asler in 1986 uh, he proved that the Hankel operator uh, H bar is bounded if and only if the symbol belongs in the block in in the belongs to the block space. Uh, and uh, he proved that uh, it is compact if the symbol is in the the little uh, block space. And one can see easily that if uh, if uh, H phi bar is in the Hilbert space if and only if the symbol phi is in the, the classical Dirichlet space, uh, which is equal to functions that uh, the derivative is in L2. Uh, it is, I see that it, I say that it is easy because here the, the, 
Z, Zn uh, is an orthogonal basis of uh, of each uh, of uh, the Berg, uh, of the standard Bergman spaces because our weight is radial in this case. So two years after uh, uh, Arazi, Fisher, and Peter proved that for p bigger than one. H phi bar is in the shot in P shot and plus if and only if symbol is in the base of spaces. The base of spaces is given by this uh, this quantity. Uh, one can see here the, 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 the this measure is uh, nothing that uh, done is, is exactly the is exactly the hyperbolic uh, invariant measure on the disk. They also proved that uh, H phi bar is uh, of truss zero if and only if uh, it is uh, it, it is uh, equal to zero. That is, uh, there is no uh, non-trivial uh, Hankel operator uh, which is which has a finite trace. Uh, in the in other sense, they prove that if uh, if the symbol phi is uh, regular up to the boundary, then the the Hankel operator H phi bar uh, is in the Dixmi class. That means, roughly speaking, that means that uh, uh, this here is SK is the the singular values associated to uh, the operator H. Bar. Uh, roughly speaking, it means that uh, SK H phi bar is uh, controlled by uh, the harmonic uh, sequence, uh, that is, SK H phi bar is less than uh, a constant uh, divided by uh, K. Uh, okay, our uh, goal in this talk is to, to try to understand what what is what are the, 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 the what is the, the, the behavior of the singular values of uh, H phi uh, bar, if possible, for, in terms of the, the symbol phi, something uh, explicit, explicit, yes. So. Uh, I I have. I, I just mentioned two things. The first one is that in this, uh, all the results does uh, don't depend on the, the parameter alpha. The reason is that the geometry associated to standard Bergman spaces uh, is the hyperbolic geometry. It appears in this uh, quantity, in this measure. The invariant uh, hyperbolic measure. Uh, other thing, it is possible to 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 yes, I, 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 the, uh, one can interpret the result, uh, the Arazi Fisher Peter result, uh, by the fact that for p equal one, there is a cutoff. Okay, because there are, there is no function in uh, uh, there is no function symbol phi for which we can uh, the, the Hankel operator can be in uh, can have a finite stress. So the we 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 need to to understand this uh, this parameter. This uh, this problem or this uh, this phenomenon. Uh, so to 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 explain the first the first thing to explain uh, the role played by the geometry of uh, of uh, the geometry of the uh, associated to the the Bergman the weighted Bergman space, we will uh, state my uh, the problem in some what more general situation. So to, to do this, omega will denote uh, domain, bounded or not. 
and uh, holomorph omega is the class of holomorphic functions. Uh, the, the weighted Bergman space is uh, given by this with the, the, the a omega is omega times the a. The a is the, the, the Lebesgue measure. This is since omega is continuous, uh, a2 omega is a reproducing kernel space. And the kernel will be denoted in the circle by k, same letter. If necessary, we'll write k power omega. And the Hankel operator is given by a formula. We suppose that our Hankel operator, the omega, is, is, is reasonable. That means it is. The, the, the Hankel operator is densely defined. Now I will give some, I will define, I will uh, precise what is the, our uh, class of weights. I prefer to, to give a, uh, to give a condition on the weight, not on the weight, but on the kernel. Uh, to take advantage, uh, advantage of the numerous results obtained by several others on estimates of the reproducing kernel. So uh, there are four conditions. The two conditions are, are very, very, uh, very slight. For example, it is uh, the, 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 the two first conditions are uh, satisfied by all ra radial weight. Uh, here, this parameter tau, tau is given by this, and this parameter will play a, a, a very important role in the circle. It, it will define the geometry associated to the weight omega. Uh, we suppose that the, the kernel near diagonal satisfies this. That means it's the, the mod of k zeta z uh, near diagonal, it's equivalent to norm of k z uh, times norm of k zeta. I just write this inequality, the second is just cos inequality. Cos is false inequality. This, the, the last condition, tau, we suppose that tau is uh, if omega is bounded, that means that it is the distance, the z, to the, the, the boundary of omega. If not, for example, if omega is the whole, uh, the whole uh, complex plane, it means that tau z uh, must be uh, bounded. Uh, this condition means that the, for example, for the disk, it, it means that uh, our Bergman space, weighted Bergman space, um, contain uh, at least what one uh, standard Bergman space. So this consist is not true for very small, uh, very small Bergman spaces when the Bergman spaces approach, for example, the Hardy space, things like this. So the, 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 the important uh, condition is this, is the condition three, is the condition three. So uh, I, I, uh, I will mention that uh, it is important to mention that uh, the, all these condition, uh, there, there is no condition uh, of diagonal. What means? Th th there is no condition uh, far from diagonal. The only condition is near diagonal. Okay. So, uh, to understand this, I, I will give uh, some examples. First one is the standard Bergman space. Tau z is equal exactly one minus mod, mod z 
mod z square for all bounds. If we want to write exactly what is uh, equality, the parameter alpha will appear. The second example is weighted Bergman spaces and uh, uh, where, uh, the, the, where the phi is a subharmonic weight. And uh, we suppose that one over the square, uh, the, root square of Laplacian of phi is uh, verify say, some Lipschitz condition. In this case, uh, we have two, uh, two, two, uh, two is a equivalent to one of the Laplacian of phi. This result in this, uh, in this form is due to uh, U uh, and uh, Aeol, uh, which is obtained recently in uh, 2019. Uh, and uh, there, there uh, it was perceived by other results, results uh, from uh, Lean, Rock, Berg, uh, uh, many works, but, but I think that this condition is the, 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 the best one. It's the best one, the, the more general one. This will be a source of, uh, or, of examples for us. Uh, another example, if we suppose that omega is strictly positive and a harmonic, then we can see that in this case, the geometry is uh, governed by, uh, the, the, the geometry associated is uh, the, the hypo hyperbolic geometry in this case also. Uh, here, I, I, I discussed the, the unit disk, but in the same uh, in the same case, uh, we can uh, have some examples: uh, Fox space, uh, Fox space, standard Fox spaces, or other examples. For example, this example is uh, obtained by uh, by uh, SAPE and uh, USV. And one can uh, find in the, the literature many, many examples, many which can uh, also, uh, which we satisfy all, all our conditions. Okay. For this class of functions, we have the following results for the, uh, for the boundedness and the compactness and the, the membership to Schatten class. It uh, it extends the, the it extends Axler and uh, Arazi Fisher Peter uh, result, results. Uh, there are many papers which uh, treat this problem for different uh, class of weights, but I think this this class is a, a more general. Uh, the proof is uh, essentially uh, the same as uh, the proof, uh, uh, looking proof. So, uh, so our our uh, our goal here is to estimate the singular values of phi. So our starting point is the following um, the following elementary lemma. If you consider two sequ sequences, if they are connected by the two, these two inequalities, where the constant B, where H is any convex function, and where uh, B don't, doesn't depend on H, then the two sequences are equivalent. That means that there are two constants uh, such that uh, we have the two-sided inequalities. What we need, what is important, is that we need, uh, in the proof, we need only that one of the sequence, sequences is somewhat regular. Regular, that means n gamma bn is increasing for some, for some gamma. It is really not difficult to, to prove. Uh, it suffices to consider some particular convex uh, uh, convex functions uh, like uh, t minus delta uh, maximum with uh, with zero, for example, and for for any delta 
uh, for any constant delta, positive constant delta. Uh, we will use this, uh, re this result in as flows. Suppose you have a positive compact operator. Suppose that rho x over x gamma, x gamma is a decreasing for some gamma between zero with p. And if you, we have, if we can estimate the trace, the trace I recall, the trace is the sum of h, uh, h uh, lambda uh, sub n t. Lambda n sub n t is the, um, are the, the, the eigenvalue of the, here uh, our operator is positive and compact uh, and is positive, so the eigenvalue is exactly the, 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 the singular values. So we have this inequality. So if we can estimate the trace of HT with somewhat regular functions for any convex H, I suppose that HTP is convex. Uh, for, for our lemma, P is equal one. So gamma is between zero and one. But here, if we, if we need, if P uh, grow, increase, then uh, the class of H which satisfies this uh, uh, becomes um, larger. Uh, so, our uh, strategy is essentially to estimate the trace of HT for some convex functions or some for P convex functions. Uh, so, uh, we cannot uh, talk about uh, Henkel operators without top list operators. <laughs> So I recall what is top list operator for big spaces. Uh, it is defined by this formula, T mu. mu. Mu is a measure. I will consider here a positive boring measure, but the problem can also for other uh, measures, not necessarily positive. The problem is more complicated in this case. So uh, we suppose that uh, what is important, what, what makes that the, the operator T mu the uh, top list operator with symbol mu, mu very important is the fact that the t mu, uh, the, the, the inner product, uh, this inner product is given by this quantity. So to obtain a result, we need to uh, decompose uh, our set omega. The decomposition of the sigma will, will depend on the geometry of our uh, of our weight. So we see we we we, we call uh, we say that uh, uh, that uh, a family of this is a lattice if it is a covering of omega and of finite finite multiplicity what means finite multiplicity that means that, that there exists a, a big a, a constant n that if we intersect uh, more than uh, n uh, n disks it uh, the intersection is empty and if you uh, if the if if the, the radius is smaller then the the disks are uh, pairways this one this joint such disks are will be called lattice with respect to omega or with respect to the geometry asset to omega because it depends only on to such family exists uh, so for boundedness and compactness it is really not difficult to prove that steam u is bounded if and only if mu r n divided by uh, here it is uh, something like uh, uh, something like uh, uh, mean value of mu. So the proof is based essentially on the, this uh, 
mean inequality. If it is compact, we the sequence the sequence conver, converges to zero. So we will organize this, this sequence such that uh, such uh, such a way to be uh, decreasing. Okay. First, the result on top list operators it was obtained by my colleague uh, Eli Bowie. Uh, we proved that uh, for any uh, H uh, such that HTP is complex for any P, then one can uh, find uh, constant B, which this estimates. And uh, as I mentioned before, it gives us the following results. If we suppose that rho x divided by x a is decreasing for some a, so we, we need that rho x don't increase uh, faster than polynomials, uh, faster than all polynomial, polynomials, then uh, lambda anti mu is uh, in some sense, in some sense that lambda anti mu is uh, equivalent to a n mu. It's not exactly true, but th this condition is really very. Uh, it, uh, if we suppose that rho x uh, don't increase uh, uh, faster than pol than uh, all polynomials, this condition, this re the regularity condition here is not uh, very. It's not uh, strong. Okay, uh, just two remarks. I, I will uh, I will just mention that the if rho x uh, grows faster than all polynomials, the results is the results uh, is not uh, true. One can one can find two measures mu and mu such that we have the same the same uh, mean value, but the singular values are not. So it's somewhat uh, an interesting problem. I I have no idea in the case when rho x goes very yeah, faster than all polynomials. So, for the Hankel operators, we will do the same. We will do the same thing. Uh, if uh, we write lambda is this measure and uh, mod, mod t is the t star t uh, power one over two, and we have the same estimates, but but this time just for convex functions, not for all uh, HTP convex functions. Uh, to prove this, I will, uh, I have not uh, enough time. Uh, so I will uh, go uh, somewhat faster. I will, I, I just give some ideas of the proof quickly, very briefly. Uh, Hankel operators, it connects by with the Debark equation. If you consider the bar of h phi bar f, we have phi, phi, the derivative of phi bar um, times f. So h phi bar f is the minimal solution of this equation. So using Hormonder type estimates for the bar, one can obtain this inequality. You see here we have a top list operated with h, which appears with symbols. Derivative of phi uh, squ uh, square uh, to uh, to the a omega. The symbol is exactly uh, this. Uh, then uh, one can control h phi bar star h phi bar by t mu phi. And uh, finally, uh, using uh, Classic results, uh, while monotonicity lima, you obtain that the square, the, the square of singular values are controlled by the eigenvalue of the mu phi. And now we can use the result, the result uh, um, stated for top list operators. For the second part, the, the crucial idea is that uh, H phi bar. Yeah, applied to kernel is given by this formula. So, if you remove in the, for, the in the first inequality uh, uh, h, 
this inequality is is classical is a direct constant of Cauchy's inequality. So when you apply uh, H and since H is uh, convex, you can obtain this inequality and you replace this quantity by the H phi bar K A divided by K A zeta. Since zeta and W are in the same, uh, the same lattice, so we can uh, you, you can separate this uh, this uh, this quantity, and uh, finally uh, we use the, the, the spectral decomposition uh, applied to the, 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 the reprodu reproducing kernel. We obtain this, and by convexity we can conclude. It's just an idea. Means it, we need some uh, precision. Uh, the, the idea is to use a somewhat uh, local Bayesian transform. This appears some like local Bayesian transform. Okay, so one uh, can uh, obtain if you consider tau derivative of phi mod, mod der derivative of phi. The, the, the distribution uh, with respect to lambda omega is given by this, and R phi omega plus is a inverse, uh, uh, a reverse function of, uh, of R phi omega. So uh, one can write the integral in terms of, the, of this sum. And uh, that means what? Sorry, I will just two slides before. So we can replace this quantity by sum, which involves uh, the, 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 the inverse of the decreasing, uh, of the decreasing rea rea rearrangement of this, 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 uh, this function. Uh, so we obtain the following result, which means that if rho is an increasing function such that rho x divided by x gamma is decreasing for some gamma between zero and one, then S n h phi bar is uh, equivalent to one over rho n if and only if this quantity. For the case rho x equal x, for example, for gamma equal one, uh, we, we will treat this, uh, this problem uh, after. Uh, but it's, it is the critical case. Uh, I, I, rec I, uh, I recall that it, there is, uh, for, at least for the, the standard Bergman space, uh, there is a, a cutoff in, for p equal one. Okay. So now we will uh, consider to have some concrete example. I will consider the case of. Uh, Radial, radial weight. Okay. Uh, for the radial weight, uh, I, I mentioned that Zn is an orth orthogonal basis. One can write, one can calculate explicitly this uh, this calculus. So that means that the the the, 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 sec the sequence m omega n uh, is the is got. The root squares, the, the root um, uh, the root square of m omega n is exactly the singular values of of uh, h uh, z bar. So for some stand, so for some uh, concrete situations, sorry, for some concrete situations. Uh, for example, for uh, omega alpha, for the standard Bergman space, well, one can calculate so gamma is a, a function, and the, here there is no problem. So we can write, we can obtain exactly the, the, the not uniquely the equivalent, but the unitarily equivalent uh, constant. One can also consider other example. I will give a, a generic example for the, the disk. If you suppose that tau, tau uh, square z a equivalent to this quantity. For example, one can consider this uh, this weight. 
for example, we can, we can, we can consider uh, many others. So we can calculate explicitly the, the distribution function, which is equal to t minus two one beta divided by two plus beta. And uh, so uh, the singular values are obtained by R z omega plus equivalent. Here we use our results. And it is not uh, clear how to obtain this equality without using our uh, without using our uh, our quantity because we need in this case we need to calculate the 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 the, the, the moment the moment of uh, uh, associated with omega and uh, not only uh, an equivalent but uh, we an expansion at uh, at least uh, at the, the second or the third uh, time term. Okay, uh, okay. So our next results. I have. Uh, I think I have um, eight minutes. Uh, so if uh, if we consider radial weight. Or uh, only that tau is uh, tau omega is radial is sufficient. Then, and, and suppose that h phi bar is compact. If we suppose that S n h phi bar is equal a little little o S n h phi bar, then h phi bar is equal zero. That means that the critical decrease is obtained by the singular values. The, the associated to the canonical uh, the canonical uh, Hankel operator uh, I call H Z bar the canonical uh, Hilbert space in this case. So it explains the the, uh, the cutoff in this case. Okay. Uh, for example, if you consider tau equal this quantity, then uh, necessary S n h phi bar. If S n h phi bar is uh, little o, then uh, h phi bar is equal zero. For example, for b beta equal uh, here. Uh, uh, here we have a square. I forgot here square. Sorry. Uh, for beta equal zero, we obtain uh, exactly the. Uh, we obtain exactly the uh, the case of standard uh, Bergman spaces. Okay. Uh, now I uh, I will discuss the problem. The following problem: what, For what is the class of symbol P such that S n h phi bar is uh, the PK of singular values are uh, uh, is uh, critical. So we obtain here. I, I I I consider just this example. We can obtain. We can consider other examples. It's just for simplicity. Uh, if we consider if if we consider tau such that tau square is equal, is equivalent to this quantity, then S n h z bar equals up. I, uh, I just, uh, I, we just proved this. Now, the, the, the new thing in this theorem is the, this, uh, the second assertion. S n h phi bar equal uh, big O one over n, uh, one over p, if and only if the derivative of phi is in HP. Uh, this is uh, it's uh, improved the result of x uh, of Arazi Fisher Petri. Cool. 
not exactly this, but uh, the, 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 that the, the, the operator in, in, is in the Dixmier class. Uh, to prove this, I just, uh, I have just uh, five minutes. Uh, I, I, I will prove, I will give an idea just, just for this quantity. To prove that Sn H phi bar equal except equal this, it suffices to prove that L phi omega plus equal uh, is uh, O uh, one over X p. Uh, it means this is, is the inverse functions of L phi omega. So we need to prove the same. Here X goes to infinity, and, and uh, here T goes to zero. We can consider the non-tangential maximal functions associated with the modulus of phi, phi uh, the derivative of phi, uh, and one can write L phi omega t like this. We can separate. It is uh, less than this quantity. Finally, we can separate r and exponential of t. The fact that uh, the derivative of uh, phi is in L, uh, in HP, it means that the non it implies that the non-tangential maximal functions is in LP. So we obtain a simple calculation. Uh, we obtain uh, this uh, this inequality. For the second, for the, the, the converse, uh, we need uh, uh, we use the trace estimates. Okay, now to finish, I will discuss briefly about the asymptotic. Is it possible to obtain the exact asymptotic behavior of SNH phi bar for some particular phi? And uh, which uh, particular phi we, we need here, for example, we when uh, derivative of phi is in, is in HP. The first uh, example, uh, if uh, phi z equals z, we can calculate ex explicitly. So for the Sturman's, uh, standard Bergman space, the calculation is easy. For weighted, here we, I will consider a generic example. I uh, write it uh, um, one, one, here we can uh, consider one minus z square uh, beta to have some uh, simple uh, simple situation. I prefer to to write it with log. So here two omega is one minus z two beta two plus beta, and s n h z bar is is uh, is equivalent to this with p equal say all way, all all the time the same uh, expo exponent. Uh, so briefly, uh, one can write norm Zn. So uh, explicitly, we can write it like this. Uh, you have to you have a moment to calculate, uh, not explicitly, but at least uh, uh, three terms. Uh, the exponential uh, the three in in is exponent. So if uh, it is known that this quantity is uh, Mainly uh, locally localized in the, the maximum of this function, so it is attained in x n. Uh, the the Z, Z n norm can be written as low. If you use the Laplace theorem, one can uh, obtain uh, this uh, uh, asymptotic. It is equal to the Two pi divided by t, uh, second derivative at zero of h, uh, but it is not sufficient. We need to have an expansion of uh, of this term because uh, I recall we have to to calculate this quantity. Well. It is possible to do this because the, the, the term is the, 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 uh, the, the main part of this integral is concentrated in uh, near zero and one can uh, take a h u like uh, a parameter and to, to do some calculation. It's not, uh, it's not trivial, but it's not uh, very, very hard. Okay. Now, the last result, 
I want to mention in this talk is the following. If we suppose we have, we, this part is, is proved in, uh, it's stated in, uh, in the previous theorem. The, ne the new part is, is, is this quantity. If S and H Z bar is unitary equal to C divided by N one over P, then for every phi such that phi prime in HP, we have this, uh, this result. Uh, for example, for P equal one, we have the norm uh, C divided by N, uh, divided by N uh, here, we have the, the norm in L, in L1, that means it is the, it is the, the perimeter of the, the, of the image of the, the boundary, of the, the image of the, the disk. This result is, uh, is known in some particular cases. Dostanich in 24 proved that if phi is analytic in neighborhood of the bar, then we have this result by he needs a, a very regular uh, uh, that phi uh, must be regular uh, up uh, up to the boundary. At least uh, the, the second derivative must be continuous or something like this. Inglis and Rockberg proved that if the derivative of phi is in H, uh, H1, then H phi bar is in x meters, and they calculate this, this quantity. This re result, result is, uh, is obtained by a, a very different uh, proof. They uh, use the transfer to apply uh, some, um, the theory of, uh, uh, theory of uh, Boutte de Montbel and uh, Guillaume uh, for the calcul calculus of the trace. Uh, the proof uh, we propose here uh, is due to some ideas of the Stanich and uh, we, but it is uh, heavily, uh, heavily uh, based on uh, something like asymptotic spectral orthogonality due to Birman and Solomiak, which can, which can uh, find in a paper of, by Pushnitsky. Uh, and finally, we, 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 we use uh, our results in uh, RAS estimates of Hankel operators. To finish, just three problems. The following is a conjecture due to Arazi Fischer, Janssen and Peter, 1999, 90, 91. They, they, uh, they assert that if the limit of equals zero, here uh, we are in the, 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 the standard Bergman space. If it is equal zero, then H, H phi bar is zero. If the limit equal zero, we, or if the S and H phi bar is a, a big O of one over N, the answer is positive, we can, we can use our results. But in general case, I don't know. And it will be very interesting to, to consider the case when S and H phi bar is a big O of one over N gamma uh, for some gamma between zero and one. Uh, the another question is it true that S N H phi bar is equivalent to R plus H phi omega? It is not clear. If one of the sequences are uh, are equivalent, are uh, regular, the, the answer is yes. But if not, I don't know. Uh, the, the problem, the the conjecture are the Fisher and St. Peter can be also we can uh, uh, we can replace S N H phi bar by by this quantity. And the problem becomes a function theoretic problem. Uh, and I don't know if, it, if the, the, the answer is yes or no. Uh, finally, for the top list operator, I don't know if we, one can characterize all measure which satisfies. Uh, 
this. Uh, here are some uh, some uh, some references. Uh, I I cited uh, Asler, looking um, Arazi Fisher Peter. Um, here, uh, very good book of zoo. Uh, very very interesting paper of Pushnitsky. And here there are two, two, uh, two recent uh, results. One uh, will be appear in uh, Revista, and uh, the second uh, can be found in archives. And uh, thank you for your attention. Well, thank you very much, Omar, uh, for a uh, very interesting lecture. Uh, I, it, it, it looks like uh, from I was told that there aren't any questions, at least I can't see them here. Uh, so you must have answered them all, except for the ones that you listed at the end there, and they're all, everyone's all thinking about them at this point. Um, anyway, this, this uh, brings to an end. Uh, oh, actually there was a question. So it says, can you say something about the multidimensional case? Ah yes, uh, I uh, I think that the, the in this case, if uh, if our kernel, if the kernel satisfies the same conditions, one can obtain the same results. Uh, for example, to to be more precise, if the I I I I, uh, I talk about first. For top leads operators, the situation is somewhat clear. For Hankel operators, it's, it's less than. Uh, one can see, for example, the, the case, uh, the, the paper of, uh, I think, uh, Arazi Fisher Janssen Peter. Uh, it concerns the, the unit ball. Yes. Uh, we have something, but uh, I don't know if uh, one can obtain uh, the, the, est the trace estimates in this case. No. Okay. Because th th there is another phenomenon which appears for uh, for the unit ball. 